The spike in electricity infrastructure vandalism in Kazo and some parts of Balala district is sabotaging the government intention of electrifying rural communities. Because these are mere thieves, and I can also call them bandits and uh, maybe terrorists, because this electricity is used in many ways in, electri in uh, hospitals, if somebody is on drip or, uh, and the machine is being operated by the power or is being operated upon. Finding the motive of these perpetrators is still complex. Based on the skills used, they first switch off the power and start cutting cables without collecting any of the accessories. Of switching on and switching off. So the vandals will go on those switching off points and they turn off the line. So it becomes easy for them to commit whatever they want to commit on the, on the, on the electricity installations. The community believes people doing this are experts and calling electricity bodies to clear their houses. And the people they are using to install them, it seems that the ones who later come back and take them away and we are suspecting one economic sabotage and also socioeconomic sabotage. The Uganda Electricity Distribution Company Limited got control of this Ruhumba Kaswa power line in 2020 from the rural electrification agents, though still under defects liability period. The contract of this power line is in question of the ongoing vandalism. The detail of the engagement, whether the line was insured against some of these uh, circumstances or uh, eventualities, that can also well be answered by the rural electrification program, which is under the Ministry of Energy. Security in this region has been beefed up and enhancing community engagement to work on power line vandals. So far, 10 kilometers of wire conductors have been destroyed and eight transformers damaged. These occurrences are likely to jeopardize development in the area and the frustrating other government programs. We have customers on supply and actually it's, uh, it, it, it being offline is impeding the, 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 the services it has been offering to the people who are using power. Villages of Kabimbili, Rohumba, Kaswa, Katusanzani, among others, are being affected in this seemingly organized crime of vandalizing electricity channels. Abdul Nasir Lubwama, UBC News.